Welcome back to Shadow Rift 2nd Edition. We're playing against the Drow. And I'll be doing something just slightly out of turn order, which I don't think really makes a difference gameplay wise. First, we're supposed to draw cards on the turn. Then we refresh the town. And what refresh the town says is then you discard all of the uh, townsfolk in the town square to the discard pile and then refresh it. Don't know. And same with the travelers. So I've been doing that on the cleanup which is a little bit out of, out of turn order. I don't think it makes any difference, so I don't really see how it could, but maybe we'll try to do it the correct way from now on. All right, so we're drawing cards. We already did it at the end of last episode, so let's refresh our hand. Uh, we have the leading strike, a strike, two prowess, and explore for player one, and player two's hand was a couple, three prowess, a strike, and the seal, which is gonna be very important for the dreaded rumbling stone that is out there. All right, so now we're gonna refresh the town so we would discard all cards here and refresh the town. We only have four towns, folks. We're gonna to have to shuffle this and put it out. So we get the butcher, gain a mite. Cool, like it. And we have the farmer, uh, use as one prowess. Nice. We have the woodsman. Uh, you can either get two prowess or one gold. Resources gained from the woodsman cannot be used to make a purchase. But they can be used for explore card uh, and other effects uh, on other cards, perhaps. And the stonemason used when buying a wall to reduce this cost by two gold minimum of zero. All right, well, as I said, we need five townsfolk. We only have uh, four. So we have to shuffle our discarded townsfolk and refresh it. Let's hope we get a guard, because that will then uh, be good for our leading strike ability. If we don't get a guard, well, we'll see what happens. We get the child. All right, well, if there was an annihilation effect happening this turn, it wouldn't happen. All right, that's that. We've refreshed the town. Now it's time to refresh the travelers. Who do we have for travelers? The herbalist, of course, we've seen him because uh, we used our explorer to look. And we have, oh my god, a backstabber. <laughs> Yay. So we get a backstabber coming to town. Let me throw my glasses on here so I can read the little fine text. Uh, when the town is revealed, if there's a guard in play, put backstabber on the bottom of the traveler deck. Otherwise, a hero gains a wound or a, cor or a corpse is added to the town. Wow, so, oh my goodness. Well, he's not gonna come up for quite a while, but he is now in our discard pile of the town. Not good. All right, up next is Monsters Act. I'm gonna readjust the camera up here and we're gonna have our monsters acting. All right, well, we only have, well, we do have actually two, I shouldn't say, we only have one. We have two that could act, but this one is not out yet, so we're not gonna worry about it. This, for Monsters Acting, is gonna move one space. It moves into Monster Space One. It still has two damage on it. Okay, what do we do here? Um, each hero gains a wound if there are three totems. There are zero totems, so we have to worry about that. Uh, kill uh, a villager that has the hammer symbol on him. Oh boy, and you know what? We have a bunch of them. So let's go down to our town and we're gonna to have to off one of our villagers. All right, well, we have one, two, three, four villagers that all have the uh, hammer symbol on their card. If there's ever more than one and you are to kill one of them, you kill the one closest to the discard pile. So, sorry, Mr. Stonemason, you are toast. Uh, you have been killed by the pincer. I guess he was working on a wall and it snuck up behind him and pinched his head off. So it's the end of him. This will now go to the bottom of the traveler deck. Uh, so we can hire him back later. You saw there was one gold on his card. And yes, we get the lovely, the ever lovely corpse appearing in town. So instead of a stonemason, we find a severed head and a body next to it who used to be the stonemason. All right, we have no other monsters to act. That was the only one. Uh, and so up next is monsters gain power. All right, monsters are gonna gain power. We do have the rumbling stone out here. And as you can see, it has this one symbol in the corner. That's gonna add one power. Remember, we add one power to the monsters for each player. We have two player game plus one for the rumbling stone. That's three power added to our track. Oh, not good. All right, that was uh, Monsters Gain Power. Now add monsters. Well, our current monster is sitting here and it takes five uh, power to have him come out. So he's not gonna come out. And that's the end of that. So now we have to have our heroes act. So 
Once again, we're going to take a look at what we've got. Uh, we do not have a guard out, because I think we could have offed the Stone Claw Pincher, uh, because you get plus one damage if there's a guard in play, but there is not. Uh, for the rest of the round, though, villagers cost two gold less to hire. So what's nice is the Herbalist only costs two prowess to recruit into our town. I think that's a that's an absolute go-to. We have an explorer as well for player one. Player two, once again, we have three prowess, a strike, and a seal. We're going to start with player two. Player two is going to use the seal. Why are we using the seal? Because we have it. It says you may put a card from the monster power area on the bottom of the monster deck. And we do not have any magic to fuel the rest of this, but there's no Shadow Rift in play anyway, so we don't need to worry about the bottom part. But we will be able to put the one card over here in the Monster Power area to the bottom of the Monster deck. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that right now. So the Rumbling Stone, we use the seal to get rid of it, and this is going to go now on the bottom of the monster deck. So boom, away it goes. And when you kill monsters in the game, they immediately just go to the bottom of the monster deck. So it just keeps recycling over and over again until you either win or lose. All right, what else can we do? That might have to do a bit of thinking. We've got three prowess. Let's take a look at our villagers. Uh, you can use a gold or two prowess, but you can't use it to buy cards with the woodsman. The farmer gives you a prowess. The butcher uh, is you gain a might. So let me do a little bit of thinking. I'm just going to adjust the camera down a little bit. And we're going to get doing, activating our townsfolk, villagers to help us, and then purchasing and doing other things. Okay, what I think we're going to start with, we are going to use the farmer for player two. Use as one prowess. So we're using the farmer to give player two. He's got three. That's going to give him four prowess. And guess what we're doing with four prowess? we got two options. We can get a fireball. We can get a seal, and I think we're going to juice him up uh, over the fireball, costing four prowess. It's ranged damage, uh, so you get one range damage if you fuel it with another magic. You get plus one damage if you fuel it again, add a damage to each other monster in play. So this can really ramp up, but you have to have a lot of magic cards in your deck. And so far we just have the seal and the fireball, but they're a good combination if they come up together. We do have a strike now for player two. So the option is, do we, uh, hang on. I think what we're gonna do, you can use it as two, uh, we can use it as two prowess or one gold, but you can't purchase. But we could turn the strike using the woodsman's two uh, prowess to make this a ranged strike, which means we would not get a, da a wound in our hand. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to play the strike. We're going to give our pincher a wound and we're going to use the woodsman. He's going to give us two prowess to let that be a ranged attack. So now our pincher claw has three damage total on it of six health. It's still kicking though. But we do now have player one sitting here. And I think with player one, oh boy, uh, player one, we're going to go ahead and use the Butcher, gain a Might. So, when you gain a card, it goes into your discard. So we're going to gain a Might card. We haven't really taken a close look at the Might card yet, so let's do that now. The Might is basically a prowess, but you get to draw another card when you draw this one. And when you spend a Might card, you return it to the Might stack, unless you use it to maintain a skill. Then it just goes back to your discard pile. So. Uh, kind of a useless, useless, kind of a useful card. Uh, so there we have that. So that was using the butcher. So all we have left is a corpse and the child, the child weeping over the corpse. I guess maybe the stonemason was the child's dad. All right, I think we're going to do some attacking. Um, we have two prowess left. I think what we're going to do with the two prowess, we are going to go ahead and get a gold coin. So we have one gold coin now, and then we might as well do as much strike uh, activity as we can. This is a full action. We can only do one of these on our turn. So we're going to go ahead and do that. You get a melee damage. You get plus one uh, damage if there's a guard in play. No. Uh, so for the rest of the round, villagers cost two less. Oh, we can get the... Uh, we could recruit the herb herbalist or get a gold. Oh boy, what to do, what to do. Um, well, I think we're going to, I'm going to retro, we're not going to get the two gold for the two prowess. 
we are going to save that for this. So we're going to do this attack first. We're going to do one melee damage, two melee damage, and uh, villagers cost two less to recruit. So that's a full action. We do two more damage to the pincer. It's up to five damage now, which is five of six health. So we should be able to finish it off next turn. We're still going to activate and do stuff. And now we have two gold less to recruit traveler and you know what we might as well get as many good travelers into our town as we can so we're going to recruit the herbalist he costs zero gold minus two of course and now it only costs two prowess which player one has left to recruit the herbalist he comes into town excellent stuff and we still have the explorer card we haven't played yet for player one and that's basically look at the top card of the Traveler deck, and you can put it on the bottom. We don't have a goal to do the rest of this. But we will look at the top card of the Traveler deck, and it's the Diviner. A, discard your deck, then put any action or attack from your discard pile on top of your deck. Ooh, cool. Okay, two gold, three prowess. Nice. We'll leave him there. He's a good one. And that's going to be basically the end of our turn. We've played everything we can, recruited everything we could do, and now it is clean up, which I'm going to leave the villagers here because that's the refresh the town step. All right, I think we're in a good spot here. So far, we have the Stoneclaw Pincher, though. He's got five damage on him of six health. Darn it, if we'd had a guard come out, we could have destroyed this this turn and gotten ourselves a couple of heroism cards, but we can't. Next time he's going to kill a crown symbol character when he acts. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. All right, uh, so at the very end, I'm going to drop the five cards. One, two, three, four, five for player one, so we can preemptively get a look at uh, tomorrow's episode. He's got four prowess and a strike. Okay, sort of basic, but again, and we have one prowess. I have to shuffle player two's deck, of course. And we're going to see what he gets for his five cards for tomorrow. Uh, and so, prowess, another prowess, another prowess. A oh, fireball. Oh, that's where's the seal and a strike. Okay. That's going to be player two's hand uh, for tomorrow. So, the fireball, we can easily take out the stone claw pincher. Fortunately, we are going to get the boulder giant coming out next turn and that's going to be it so i'm going to leave it off there uh once again thanks so much for watching along thanks for your comments subscriptions likes this is shadow rift second edition we're playing against the drow and we got a corpse in town now we've got a couple infiltrators we haven't seen any shadow rifts yet and we got a stone claw pincher just about ready to die we got the boulder giant on his way out i don't know how we're doing <laughs> it's hard to say so thanks so much we'll see you tomorrow the continuation Shadow Rift 2nd Edition against the Drow.